Jarrett Dieterle, who specializes in the free market. Jarrett, we've seen a lot of really bad news out there. Unemployment claims going up very, very rapidly. Yet we've seen some opportunities from companies saying we're taking on hundreds of thousands of new employees. And I'm wondering if you could tell me, you know, the quantities there is the quality there. Yeah, well, I think you're right. Uh, in certain industries, uh, such as delivery uh, and, and shipping uh, right now, ones that are focused on bringing products to people's homes, there has been uh, an increase. Um, uh, a couple of prominent companies have announced that. Um, I think that you know the important thing to keep uh, in mind is that these companies are trying to match demand uh, right now and uh, oftentimes are uh, doing so through uh, independent contractors or other kind of temporary part-time employees. Um, so, you know, yeah, these aren't necessarily uh, full-time uh, jobs or full-scale employee positions um, like these companies uh, sometimes do hire in other contexts. But uh, right now, they're just doing their best to get uh, products to people uh, uh, like us that are uh, social, socially distancing at home. I also wonder about these employees who, who are going to be out there right now in a time when, you know, a lot of people are scared to go outside. Would these sorts of jobs entail something like health insurance or sick leave? Well, I think one of the things that the companies are doing and they absolutely you know, need to be doing, obviously, first and foremost, is making sure that they uh, uh, have uh, precautionary measures in place for the uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, virus to actually make sure that um, you know, they're minimizing as much as possible their risk for it. Um, and, and also, it's you know, of course appropriate if one of them were to uh, contract the virus to uh, uh, have some kind of uh, system in place to uh, uh, to help them, uh, you know, pay for uh, potential expenses caused uh, by that. Um, I think some of the companies are doing that. Uh, as far as, you know, full-scale uh, insurance or other uh, more robust stuff beyond that, that really is a question that um, uh, kind of has been asked for a while now, even uh, before this all happened, uh, you know, how independent contractors should be treated, whether uh, there should be potential additional protections uh, that they get. And it's something that will increasingly become an issue in our modern economy. I don't know if right now in the middle of, of a crisis is going to be the place where we come to an answer on that. Knowing what you know about the market, Jared, do you think there's a possibility that some of these positions could be converted into full-time permanent positions down the road? I think it's possible. Um, you know, obviously, I think by nature, some of them will be temporary just because of enhanced demand right now. Although it'll be interesting in the wake of this, I, I wouldn't be surprised if more people generally are minimizing time in public gathering spaces, uh, potentially out of uh, uh, precaution. Um, also, some business industries that traditionally haven't done a lot of delivery. Um, you've seen uh, everyone from restaurants to uh, craft breweries uh, really break into the delivery space right now. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept it up afterwards. Um, I think it's proving pretty popular uh, amongst a lot of people and maybe so independently, uh, even beyond the current, uh, the current crisis. Is there any company or companies that stand out and you think they're doing it right? That's a good opportunity. Well, it's so early in this process, it is a little bit difficult to make definitive determinations. But I, you know, I do think that you know several of the companies, um, uh, you know, Amazon, Walmart, Instacart are the ones that, that have been you know most prominent. Um, uh, you know, have been pretty open and recognized that they need more workers, um, but also have done a good job of pointing out um, the importance of putting in protocols to uh, protect those workers uh, right now from, uh, you know, potentially contracting the virus. And I think that that um, is good and appropriate and shows, uh, you know, private enterprise um, doing the right thing. Um, you know, certainly there's uh, debates, as I mentioned, that I think uh, will probably be um, much bigger debates into the future about uh, workers and independent contracting status. But uh, for right now, I think that these companies are trying their best to uh, get the services that people need and the products people need. Jared Dearly, we sure appreciate it. Thank you. Our thanks to Chance and Jared for their insight. Certainly some help out there. That's our show for now. Another hour of news right now.